people of the internet welcome or welcome back to another vlog it is currently saturday morning and yesterday i just came back from a week-long trip so it feels good to be home but i'm also starting classes again on monday i was just on a study break and obviously with all the traveling i have had like no routine whatsoever so i want to make sure that before classes start i'm like you know on the right track i've got my life together because the state of things right now is not the best i have like a lot of schoolwork to catch up on i want to make sure my space is clean and kind of do a bit of a spring reset and take you along for that because not gonna lie i'm a little bit jet lagged i'm not really motivated whatsoever so i feel like making this video is going to be an incentive for me to be more productive but we're gonna keep it chill and realistic right now i'm just gonna start by cleaning my room a little bit obviously it's not messy or anything because i haven't been home for the past week that would be weird if suddenly i came home and there was a bunch of clutter there's just a lot of dust that i want to get rid of and also i need to organize my bathroom drawer because right now all of my cosmetics like my skincare and makeup is just thrown in there and it's a mess when i'm trying to get ready in the morning because like half of that stuff is empty anyways so i'm just gonna go through that hopefully rather quickly and yeah that's gonna be like the first step um i'm looking forward to just feeling like i'm making progress and yeah without further ado let's go ahead and let's get right into cleaning This is all just from like me unpacking my stuff <laughs> and like getting ready this morning um, and yeah I'm gonna need to make sure that's clean wipe everything down I'm also I'm gonna do the same over there and with my shelf there and I just feel like already that's gonna make such a difference I honestly don't know why this dresser accumulates so much dust but I have to like wipe it down every couple of weeks because it's just like super dusty otherwise I just came back from running some errands with my mom and I got myself some flowers because this gloomy weather is really, mm, it's not, it's not nice. So I wanted to <laughs> get these to just like add some color. I love the purple and white combo. Also when I was in London, we visited so many like flower markets. There were little flower booths everywhere and it was really feeling like spring. Whereas here, it's, it's feeling like seasonal depression, so I don't know. These these make me happy. Wait, I'm gonna move on to cleaning the drawer in my bathroom now because I just wanna get that 
over with. I did also get myself a coffee when I was with my mom, so she should give me more energy. I'm like low-key procrastinating having to do this, but we'll get it over with. It now looks like this is all like toothbrush and toothpaste and stuff here I have my makeup so this is like concealer foundations and brush mascara and like brow gel or brow stuff blush nail polish and lip oils and then this is all of my skincare or at least most of it I have face masks and everything in another cupboard but my cleansers basically just everything sort of organized to the best of my ability this I'm happy about because I organized all my hair stuff so that here I have like bigger clips and scrunchies medium-sized clips and then my tiny clips just to put my bangs back along with some like scalp treatments and stuff and then back there I have some hair ties and yeah that's how it's looking I'm really happy that is all the cleaning that I feel like I have in me to do today and now I really have to sit down and just do some schoolwork like have a lecture to watch some readings to do and all that kind of stuff but yeah I'm like honestly really happy I got that done because now when I get ready in the morning, like I don't have to dig through everything. I can just find exactly what I need. So yeah, that's that. It's Monday morning and I am gonna get ready, but I'm gonna do something a little bit different this morning since we're doing like a reset and I feel like switching it up. <laughs> I might regret it, but I have this bowl of ice, which I'm gonna fill up with water and I'm gonna dip my face in it. Like all of those like Pinterest aesthetic wellness girlies. I know you can just like rub an ice cube all over your face, but I wanted to go like the extreme route today. Hopefully it wakes me up. Um, <laughs> I know a lot of people take like cold showers in the morning because if you can do hard things right as you wake up then you can do like anything but a cold shower is like too much for me right now so I'm just gonna do that <laughs> let's get this done actually I don't know how I'm gonna film this because I'm probably gonna be like <laughs> wanting to die <laughs> here we go I'm gonna look so dumb I can already like anticipate that but whatever <laughs> okay Not bad. I just forgot that I can't hold my breath to prepare me long. Oh my god, I'm so red. That feels really good though. Not gonna lie. I'm not awake for this. Well, I'm awake, <laughs> to say the least. This is kind of fun. Like, I would recommend trying to get out. <laughs> I'm like, this is kind of fun and then I'm dreading doing it. Okay. Okay, enough of that. I can't see. It looks like I've been outside in the cold for so long. Anyways, I'm gonna do my skincare now and we can get on with our day. But that was a fun little activity. I'm glad we did that. So, as for the plan for today, I actually booked a workout class this morning at 10 30 and it's my first time doing that, I think, this year. I did one 
hot yoga class with my mom this year so far but I've never booked a workout class on my own so I'm a little bit nervous but also excited I think it's gonna be perfect for this video since I'm trying to like get back on track it's just gonna give me an excuse to get my day started early and just like move my body first thing in the morning I'm excited for that um, and then this afternoon I have class I'm not like nervous but it's just like kind of strange having taking a break for basically like nearly two weeks from school and now coming back to it but at the same time i'm looking at it as like there's only a few weeks left to the semester so it's gonna go by super fast and might as well make the most out of it and just enjoy it as much as possible well i'm still in, like in school because after that it's summer like i'm gonna be doing nothing for like months i'm using the be kind moisturizer when I tell you this workout class humbled me, I honestly feel like that is an understatement. I went to Enso Yoga and I just signed up for a hot Pilates class, which I've only done once before. So this was definitely a little bit challenging, but nonetheless, the class setting and just like group activity really makes it fun. And you're listening to music, you have an instructor with you. I was definitely hating said instructor at some point when she kept telling us to like keep our arms up and keep doing these arm circles, which you can see in my face, I was not pleased. But at the end of the day, it was a really fun activity. And even though it kicked my butt, it was a nice little step out of my comfort zone. The next, unfortunately most important, but least interesting part of this reset was to get back on track for my classes and assignments because obviously after a week of traveling, I didn't really have any time to do any schoolwork whatsoever, so I wanted to catch up and actually try to get ahead on that, which is why I spent honestly most of my week and as much free time as I could in the library. I work so much better when I'm outside of the house, and I even booked this editing room that's available for students in my program to edit our projects, and it made such a difference just like having that environment to work in. Good morning everyone it is wednesday morning and i actually don't have any classes today so i'm gonna be using this day to kind of finish off this reset i did like an everything shower this morning which was really nice but right now i'm gonna be doing one of my favorite things which is skincare and obviously because i was traveling i haven't had the chance to like do a very elaborate skincare routine like i was limited in terms of what i could use so i'm happy to be back home and to be able to do that and yeah i'm just gonna get right into it first thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna use this little exfoliating sponge and this is really cool like right now obviously it's raw card but then you just put it under warm water and it becomes a sponge which i think is how sponges work but you know what i'm saying <laughs> i feel like when you think of self-care the first thing that most people think of is like doing face masks and taking a bath and all that kind of stuff but honestly i feel like this entire video has been some sort of self-care for me like even just cleaning going to a workout class which was incredibly challenging forcing myself to sit down and do some work at the library like all those things are just ensuring that i'm looking after myself you know taking care of my space my health all those things so even though like this is i guess the most obvious example of self-care self-care shows up in many different ways and yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I am most certainly still like quite anxious about my assignments and just like my classes right now because obviously I've been on break for two weeks so my mindset hasn't been 
very like school oriented and now having to dive back into it in the middle of like midterms with finals coming up in a couple weeks like it's all a little bit overwhelming and i'm definitely the kind of person where if i'm not ahead i feel behind and so i'm just trying to like do the best as i can to yes get ahead of my assignments and catch up on all of that but also not let it consume my life and consume my entire day because i know that that can be really toxic and that's just not like the mindset i'm trying to have yes i want to be like a good student but that also means like taking a break and making sure that i'm taking care of my sleep schedule just getting back into my routine and i've been doing actually pretty well at that like i'm doing pretty good at like getting back into my morning and night routine and also um making sure that i'm like exercising every now and then i don't know why i started ranting like that but that's a couple things that's been <laughs> that have been on my mind for the next step i'm really excited because this brand called inner beauty reached out and asked me if i wanted to try out their gua sha and i was like of course so i'm gonna be trying it out and it honestly does not look like any gua sha i've seen before it has these little like spikes which i think is super interesting i'm excited it also has this little guide which i most certainly will be using because <laughs> i feel like i'm not the best at knowing what exactly it is i'm doing when it comes to gua sha 